we're going to show you some techniques for painting glass. So here's the glass uh, we'll be working with today. This is the reference image. As you can see, there's quite a lot of green in this image, in this glass of water. And this is the drawing of that glass. Now, one of the tips when painting um, glass, because because you're going to have highlights and reflections, would be to leave the white highlights, such as here, 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 along the bottom there, and a little bit on the top, uh, leave them untouched. You don't need to apply paint to those areas. We can let the paper or the canvas come through underneath. The first thing you should do is maybe identify the mid to dark tones, especially if you've got a lot of um, areas here from the drawing. And you'd have noticed I've actually drawn where the highlights are. So this section here is this section here. This section here is this section here. But to help you, you might want to, very lightly with a pencil, I'm going to write dark there, just to show the slightly darker areas. And it's almost a bit like painting by numbers really, just so you can work out where it is you need to apply those slightly darker tones. And once obviously those, word, those words will disappear once you've painted over it, if you need to, of course, you don't have to, it's just, just an idea. Okay, so I'm using acrylic paints today. Uh, we have white, black, a green, and a little bit of yellow. Not a huge amount of yellow. Um, I'll be honest, I was trying to get it out of the bottle, and not a huge amount came out. But we're going to give it a go, and we're going to start off with these darker tones on the right, on the right and left of the of the image. So these aren't black, these are these are dark green. Okay, a dark green. So we're going to use that green and we're going to mix it and we're going to take the green from the edge of your acrylic. So we don't want to go into the center of the acrylic, we want to go from the edge and just drag that paint out and give yourself a nice section to mix the, uh, mix the colors. And we're going to go for the black here and we'll just take a little bit of black out. We'll put that into the green. Let's see what happens there. Okay, let's see what happens. So we've got a dark green there. Is it the right dark green? Well, we can always test it. We can test it alongside that. That's pretty close. So, as you can see, I'm just testing the greens on the actual sheet as a reference image. Uh, you could do it on your paper, of course. I know some people like to do that. And I've got my green here. And it simply is a case of uh, get filling in those areas. So I'm gonna to start to paint there. And I don't like this brush. I'm gonna change the brush up. I'm gonna go for a wider brush. We're going to go for a flathead brush. And that will just cover the area a little bit quicker as you can see because it's a larger brush. Okay, I'm holding the brush on the metal part close to the bristles just to give it that extra bit of control. And that's getting a little bit thin now that area so I need to I need to use a thinner brush. Paint's getting a little bit dry, a little dip of water, just to loosen that up. We should just get that painted in. Okay, so I've identified the blocked in the dark areas on the right. I'm now going to dock, block in the dark areas on the left. So I really could do with a thinner brush for these very fine areas. So I'm going to adjust the, how I'm holding the paintbrush. Try and get a, just the tip of the brush on the paper. Try and create the line thinner. And I've, ooh, I've just missed a little bit there, so it's gone out, which isn't ideal. But we can paint over that later on. I'm we'll just do the reflection on the table now. I'm just blocking in those slightly darker areas on that reflection. Just this final section there. Again, it's nice and thin, so I need to ensure I'm using the brush as thinly as I can. I'm now going to focus on these slightly lighter areas on this dark side on the right hand side, just that little bit of shine next to, next to the, the dark edge. And for that, 
I've mixed up all, all the colours here. I've mixed up a little bit of yellow, green, black and white together to create this tone, which I feel matches that slightly lighter edge. So, a little dip of water. Okay, I'm just going to overlap, overlap the paints ever so slightly. Now I'm going to work into those gaps there. Spin in the brush. Ensure we evenly coat the surface with our paintbrush. Okay, so we're starting to get to those get those tonal elements into the piece. Now, if we look onto the left hand side, we've got some slightly lighter elements which I've, I've made dark, so I'm going to have to paint over that now. Okay, so I'm just going to paint those in now as even and as neat as possible. Trying to avoid that little highlight there. A little reflection, and then we've got some lighter areas here, so we can just get that. And I've just had a little bit of white there, just get that really light, light green. And actually, I can just put it on the side here as a reflection, can't I? And that needs a little bit of yellow. But in doing so, I've, I've thinned that out, so clean the brush, dry the brush, and get that darker tone and put it back on top. There we go. So it's starting to come together. Take this lighter tone now again. We want to go in this area. A bit of water, a bit of white, a bit of yellow, a bit of green. It's not bad, a little bit more white maybe. And then we go. I've got carried away there. It happens sometimes. Now we're at this stage and we have the majority of the dark tones in place with the slight exception of an area down here I've just noticed. This thin line here. We're now going to work on the light green tones. So I want us to work on, now I'll be working um, here, here, and these areas. I'm going to use a clean brush, brand new brush. I'm going to ignore black for now. And I'm going to go with white, pull the white out. A bit of the green out, make a nice pale green. We'll start to block that in up the top here. That needs to be whiter, I can see that straight away. So I'm just going to put some more white on top of that immediately while it's wet to start to blend it through. Now that is a dark green, but I'm just going to do the whole area and then we can do the the dark green on top in a second. Could probably do a little bit of water just to smooth that out. Just slightly touching the sides of that green with the white. Just make sure we got to the bottom here. Okay. And that green is just like this green here, so in this section we're going to go down again with this light green. A little bit of water. So it is important to um, work in stages. And I missed something out earlier. I missed out this dark section here underneath the glass, the little cast shadow. So while I remember, I'm going to paint that in now. To try and use a thin edge of the brush to paint that section nice and thinly there.
and actually I'm going to do a little bit more I don't think more than necessary because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the white paint a nice bit of white paint and put it in there and just drag it out drag that paint out there you go, you can start to see those slightly darker tones coming in now let's push that back so you can see it let's bring that all the way down I'm just going to try and touch up just a little bit with a bit of white in these areas just so we get like a really light, light green Okay, just attempting a light wash here in the background. Okay, so this is watery acrylics. So the background just frames it. I'll move to the thinner brush now, the size 2 brush, Ooh. to just try and get those de last bit of details in. So here I've just gone too thick with that thin brush, so I'm going to have to paint over it to make it thinner. But in doing so, it does give a little bit more depth to that area, a few more tonal elements. Let's bring out those reflections on the, on the table. This um, yellowy white going all the way across the top. If I do it across the top, like that, I should probably blend it into the rest of the paints. So it's not so much of a hard line, which we don't want. Okay, I'm going to paint the, uh, the, the frame of the glass, I'm going to paint one here. It's not in the picture, it could ruin it. We'll find out. But some, as I say, sometimes what works in a photograph might not work in a painting and vice versa. So I'm using a little bit of white here in a dry brush just to graduate the tone. Okay. 